dun 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 Welcome back, Glad You Made It. It's another social production, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Friday, September 13th, 2024. Thank you for joining me wherever you're tuning in from. If it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down. We're going to find these videos on Instagram. Follow me there. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadri if you'd like to physically, financially support the show. If you've been with me from the get-go, sending all the love right back to you. We're just starting to, little by little, do things. In and around the world, if you're tuning in from Canada, Wagwan, Mi Familia, down south, as per you, United States, further down south, Mexico, South America, over there in Africa, over there in Europe, over there in Asia, over there in Antarctica, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, uh, Senegal, over there in Italy, over there in Portugal. What's going on back in Spain? What's going on in uh, Peru? Back over there in the, uh, the United Arab Emirates. What's going Oh, man. Oh, everywhere. The, where else? New Zealand, of course. The Caribbean islands, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. It's Friday. Let's get right into it. It's going to be a loose day, loose sesh, because it's Friday and over it's the 13th. Oh, shit. That's that's Friday the 13th. Today's Friday. Oh, that is, there's something about that. Something happened on the, on the 13th. That was a Friday, I think. Not quite sure. What's... Don't worry about it though. I hope you're all doing well. It is Friday. Let's uh, yeah, let's have some fun. We're gonna keep it loose. See where it goes. Ah. I'll start with this. I will uh, because there's a lot to discuss, and we'll see how many items we get through. But I did just see, and in new innovations, new technology, new advancements in and around the world are impacting each and every one of us. Schools as one of the jobs that's getting assistance from AI and. Teachers are apparently going to be, in some schools, turned away. So we, we're saying no more to the physical human teacher. We're saying apparently there are going to be AI classroom, AI schools with AI teachers, AI robot teachers potentially. Or maybe just maybe they're not the robots, but there's AI involved in the teaching and they're removing the teacher. That's what I heard. And apparently it's going to be, I don't know how I feel about it. There's going to be apparently like helpers in the rooms instead of teachers we're gonna have helpers so that's but i see that that's just like one area of work that i noticed that's going to be get you know and as soon it's going to happen everywhere else to little by little of course and who knows as, as technology advances and it gets more and more incorporated in our daily lives robotics the mechanics going to take in our jobs and all that jazz well we get to create new jobs and that's one of the jobs in this case is the helper or the human assistant in internal, because there's gonna be some situations where there's gonna be interactions between the teacher and student, and the teacher's not gonna be, because if there's a teacher or a student, you'll be able to do like human interaction, you'll be able to figure it out. Sometimes you might have a computer or like, you know, a robot, which is interacting with the student, that's not gonna, oh, a little bit of communication breakdown, not getting quite what's going on here. And you need somebody to just, we no longer need to, you need somebody to essentially it's actually really cool because basically a lot of people can do these. I think this is going to get extrapolated into larger society as we're going to have like robots, technology, AI doing most of the heavy lifting and we'll just have human helpers. Essentially, like you need a guy or a gal that's just like willing to go up to the machine and just like smack it on its head. That's that's one of the like that's or like I'd imagine this is just again one field of work, but in other fields of work, I'd imagine these robots and the AIs that'll take over, you'll have an instance where something might tip over and you're like all the way in another country, you're doing digital controlling of your AI robot to do your task wherever else. Your robot trips and falls over for some odd reason. It's not one of those robots that can do the parkour still. It's like, a, it's like a, you know, it's like a, because there's levels to everything. You didn't get that good one that can do the backflips. They can jack itself, but this one's just one of those ones that like falls on its back, can't get back up like a turtle, but robot but smart smart really smart but can't get so you'll need human helpers so every once in a while they'll go like tip it over like a tipped over can just help him get back up but essentially everybody can do this so most people can do this so it's, i think eventually the future of job like feet like way that like you know it'll it will still do things but like not in the like in 200 years we're not going to be doing the things that we're doing as as we are not doing the things that we were doing 200 years ago we're not going to be doing the same things so you're going to have there's going to be a transition period where everyone's going to kind of become a helper where everybody's using AI, the AI is doing most of the work and you need to like, you know, again, go, you know, uh, uh, there's a robot that like fell off the staircase because it could, it, for whatever reason, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna. And that's when we're going to be, I guess, needing some sort of like telepathic 
communication, either chip or again, human advancement in terms of like, who knows what we're gonna advance. So it was like, this is, you see this body, you see the mind, you're like, this is as good as it gets. Who knows in 200, 500,000, 10,000 years what we're gonna be. But you're gonna have to communicate with somebody as long as you just tap into their brain waves and just be like, yo, could you lift up my robot? Could you, my, my robot's dunked its head in the toilet for some odd reason? Could you, and that'll be the majority of our work, I think. Until we like, we'll be doing other stuff too, but a lot of the portion of our work is gonna be us helping each other by helping each other's like robots and AI, because that, that's, that's what I assume it's going towards. Little by little, but not to say there aren't gonna be any other jobs. There will be. We're making them. We collectively, me personally, I'm not, but like we, I believe collective, collective we, we're behind it, we're making it, which is nice. But yeah, so do get, do get used to like, you know, people like somehow communicating with you and telling you to like, you know, you gotta, maybe we'll go back to Bluetooth, Bluetooth in the ear thing. You'll be like, Jimmy, my, bro, my, my, my bot's tipped over, lift it up. And Jimmy's like, all right. But we're gonna have to agree to this socially. We're gonna have to like agree because you can't be that guy that's like, oh, I got, uh, oh, robot. You get a message, you gotta pick him up and like lift him up, foot up, like just place him back up on his feet. And if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna be playing along, it's it'll be a bummer. Like somebody else will have to like walk by, and you're gonna have to get communication with them. It'll, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. At the end of the day, we're gonna have to like. It's sort of like knowing that anything could happen to your robot. So like do. Treat your, treat your robot like you'd like others to treat your robot is essentially gonna be so like the ethos of kind of like, you know, the future, I guess. Sort of, kind of, I have no idea though. But that's, that's a little bit of schooling. It's getting, you know, education is changing. We don't even need schools in, the, in terms of good like buildings anymore. I think that's gonna change as well. I think pe people are gonna be like, you'll, you'll have your, you know, from a young age until even university state, I think you'll have like people like working together and like, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Because if you got the, if, there, if there's no physical teacher and they're just learning from a computer or like a robot, then that could easily be translated into some sort of a, you know, private placement, whether it be at your home or like, you know, you get a couple of parents, somebody's designated house becomes a, you rotate, you rotate, teach. Everybody becomes a teacher. Everybody becomes a helper, not a full team. Again, it's, it's much easier now. Everybody does a little bit. Of, I think that's going to, again, get extrapolated. You do a little bit of doctoring. You don't need to be a full doctor. You just show up and, again, like the, for whatever odd reason, out of a million procedures that the robot, the AI robot has done, one mistake, one out of a million, might go in there and it's doing fine dentistry, but it chips a tooth, goes into the gum. You're going to have to go, like, lift the sharp you know, drilling device out of somebody's jaw. But like, that's one in a million. That's why everybody's going to become a helper, I think. Like, just, just tap it on the back of its head. Make sure it's like, you know, it's doing a breast implant operation. Everything, there's always mistakes. There's never perfection. Instead of giving two breast implants, it'll put like three. You're going to have to go be like, you're going to have to manually take that third tit out. Or to have a look, maybe it's, hey, maybe the AI knows better. Because <laughs> they say less is more. But sometimes more is more. Sometimes more in terms of tits. More is more. That's one of those things. I'll never be like, yes, she's got a third arm. But if she comes in with like a full proportion, I'm not talking about one weird tit, just extra, but like three good tits, I'll say, yes, yes, all right, I can, I can live with that. So that's, again, a mistake. One person's mistake is another person's extra tits. You know what I'm saying? Plural, emphasis on, because that's double the extras. But that's a little bit of AI technology and human innovation, which is, oh, I love it. It's really cool, exciting shit. Dogs with the gun scare me a little bit, but the, hey, whatever. Who, it's, we're transitioning. We are, the caterpillar is cocooned and getting ready to cocoon some, who knows? We're in, it's, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. The merging with the, the merger is gonna be tight. It's gonna be good. What else is going on in and around the world? Again, this one's got to do with technology and advancement. Of course, I am a big fan of space because we're in it. You and I are floating in space. It's magical. It's mystical. It is, oh, it's it's a little bit, you know, it's up there. It is, it's who knows how it's all happening. We have a little bit of an understanding, who knows? But we are making progress, which is amazing. I just heard, read, saw a little bit. We just put the first commercial people Private people, private citizens out on the space and they did a little space walk. 
I believe uh, Elon Musk's company, that's uh, the SpaceX company, and this one was the Polaris Dawn, I believe, is the name of the capsule, the mission, Polaris Dawn mission capsule, first human citizens going on. You got to pay a pretty penny for it, but it is worth it. It is worth it because you get to, man, this is, this is, an ex it's, again, a little niche market now, but down the line, it will become more available to the mass, but you and I will get there one step at a time. Patreon.com slash Rob Sadri is how you can help. But, uh, you know, if that's, that's the beauty of it. Again, if you're over like regular flight and you want to just be like, I want to expand, you've done the, you've done the bungee jumping, you've done the skydiving, you've done the hot air balloon riding, you've done the helicopter, you've done flights, you got your own tiny little airplane, you got your pilot's license, which is hundreds of hours of practice, which is good on you. I, that's awesome. But you're like, I got to get higher. I got to go into space. Well, then now you can. You just got to, you know, get enough, get enough paper, get enough cheddar, get enough cheese, and you can buy tickets and it's nice. You have to go to space. You're, you're in new suits. You get new, and with this experience, not only do you get to go to space, but you don't look like one of them dorks like in a, you know, decade ago. Whenever, whenever it was that we went to the moon and stuff. So there you go. You don't get to look like the Michelin man. You get to kind of like look like a look like a fellow or a lady who's into skiing. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't have to be so restricted. You can get out there and stretch, boy. You can get out there and dunk. And two people did. I believe it was a man and a woman. So it's nice. What are, what are they? You know, that's as far as I know. I saw the video. And yes, you two can experience it. You can you can go out there. And I don't know the price of it, maybe in the hundreds of thousands, millions, I don't know. I don't think they disclosed it. They will soon, later, like eventually, again, it's going to become like, you're going to have to know how much you're going to have to fork out to get up there. Just whisper in God's ear. It's here. You know, but uh, for, yeah, for a couple hundred thousand, for a few hundred, for a few million, I don't know. You get to go up there, you get to take your helmet off, spit, and watch your spit go all the way back to the earth which is pretty dope because I'd assume some of us, I'm not pointing any fingers at one point or another, maybe got on a rooftop, maybe got on some elevation, maybe spit out a couple of loogies out. I'm not, I'm not pointing any fingers. People are young. People make, you know, jokes are jokes. And you're, and again, I'm not pointing fingers to anybody. Did it land on a part? Maybe it, maybe not. And I'm not here to point any fingers. It's just, you're a, Everybody makes funny decisions when they're, you know, so again, not pointing any fingers, not putting any blame on anybody. Everybody had a good laugh at the end of the day. No one got hurt. But, and I'm not, again, who knows what happened on, it's been so long, of course. The point is that you could do that now from way up, and, and there's no way they'll know who it was. There's no way, like, they won't know it was, could have been anybody. It could have been, it could have been bird doo-doo. It could have been a bird doo-doo that's just clear, that looks like spit. Maybe that bird was on a special diet. Maybe that bird is on Ozempic. Maybe that's just like its new digestion system. You don't know these birds. They're fucking, you know, coming on, coming in with them like translucent bird doo-doos, the new 2026 doo-doos, fall of 2026 bird doo-doos, fall winter edition doo-doos, clear doo-doos. So you can't blame, you can't point any fingers. You can't be like, I know that guy, definitely. So again, that's one thing you could do. You could easily, you could, oh man, you should have, I say spitting is probably as far as like, you don't want to drop anything heavier. Cause like you heard, I've, I've heard of this thing that they say, if you drop a penny off a really tall building or a skyscraper, I believe that's the, they say if it falls on a person though, no, like I could potentially kill somebody because of the, it's not heavy, but the velocity at that point, apparently it's just like, oh, Nancy's just oh, right cut in half. What happened? Penny drops. I don't know if that's, you know, maybe maybe it won't like cut through you, but it'll probably get lodged into you. If you're like, if you're not working out, it'll get, if you're like, if you're mushy, if you're a little bit mushy, I bet it would just get lodged in your tits. I bet it'll just get, if you got like a little bit of just like, you know, a little bit of like lower neck fat just lodged in there. You could permanently leave it there. I would actually be pretty like, in terms of like decorative purposes, especially like some people are like, don't leave the metal in, you're gonna die from whatever disease. 
But if you're like towards the tail end of your human life, if you're like in the 90s and you get like, you got nice, you know, you got nice lower neck fat, it gets lodged in there. Leave it in there. That's a good conversation piece. Walk into any room, you know, penny lodged in the neck. Don't mention it. People will just, it'll happen on its own organically. So those are some activities you could up, you know, it's, you're up there. You could, you know, forget throwing stuff. You're already, you know what? You're all, you could, you could jizz a little bit. It won't like, you know, that you could drop jizz from space. That'd be, you could drop an egg. If you're a lady ovulating, you can turn around, unzip the back zipper, which I invented the back zipper for the, the poop hole zipper, the poop zipper, the poop hole pants, part of the design, unzip the back. If you're ovulating, just, let, just, bloop, 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 just let out a couple of eggs, let them just float to earth. Let a fella just catch an egg. Midday egg? Oh, midday gravitational pull egg right here. Got it. So that's something you could do. The individuals that went up there, of course, I don't know if they... Man, if you're paying $100,000 or like a million bucks, you'd... It's like, and that's basically a hotel. That's basically a, like, it's a, it's a space station. It's, it's not a vacation because you don't get, like it is, it's, it's very short, limited for the time being. It's not that long. I believe it was only like 30 minutes outside doing it. Like, a, you know, you're outside of the capsule or the vessel. That's considered a spacewalk, space station. It, it is pretty baller. It is pretty baller. That's a way, like, if you want to, if you want to impress a bitch. If you want to impress a fella, if you're like the type of lady or the fella that's like, I'm going to take you out. We're going to go somewhere you've never been before. And you're like, I've been to all the places. And you, no, I haven't. <laughs> not, not, not this place. Not this place, baby. You could get it, but that, that's the thing. If you do go all the way out in space, and if you're not, if, if you're not having space sex, it is kind of, you know what I mean? So if you are up there, if you plan on in the near future going up there, for, I'm, I'm telling you right now, we gotta get your money's worth. You're up there having space sex. You know, like who's on top? Who's on bottom? <laughs> You're in space, man. There's no top. So that's crazy up there. So that's like a whole new experience, which you can't put a price on. Not yet. Not yet. Very soon. Very soon. Gotta get, just try it out within a niche market. See how much people are willing to fork out in the beginning, and then eventually, eventually, you know, just drop the prices. Do more. Or like, you know, drop the prices, but like, it's hard to drop. It's, we can always, you know what? They'll be like, again, you could, you could does it need to be fully safe? The, like, I don't, you know what I mean? Just make it a little bit more affordable for reg people to go. Like, you know, if I have to like, hold on to the door from the, like, I'll hold on from the inside. I'll hold on, no problem. If we get to go up there and have SpaceX, yes. And the beauty of it is, again, you don't, if you do jizz, it's not gonna like, You'll have time to react because if you jizz in like, you know, our gravity will just like it's on you, boom, right there. Not a feel, but if it's it's slow coming, in, it's oh, it's out. But you know, I can just dodge that shit slow mo. It'll just like so. That's good. That's great. You could, you know, for the time being. That is pretty much all you can do at this time. You can't like sit and have a meal because everything would like. You could if you had extra arms. If you got the mechanical arms attached to you already because they've got those, the bionic third, fourth, fifth arm. Like if you got those, then maybe you could coordinate like a space meal because again, bottle is, you know, hold on to the waitress or waiter because that old, that guy or that lady, they will float away. Don't tip him. Don't tip him with like cash or coin. Again, that too will, you're gonna have to need to tap everything, you know, swipe it or tap it, whichever way you like, spit on it, doesn't matter. The point is that that's what we're doing. It's amazing. I did hear about that and I got excited because I'm like, yes, yeah, soon it'll be, soon it'll be everybody going to the, to the laser show up in the sky. Hell yeah. Once we do get it like full scale at all again, it'll start with like a Titanic version of like tier level, you know, you'll have people in space and it's all. Oh. The good thing is, the good thing is that we've learned Learn many of things, and we're, we're continuously learning. I thought I had something more with the whole Titanic correlation, but no, nothing, nothing. You'd think something would come, but in terms of the Titanic correlation, I didn't even know. But nonetheless, you gotta, you know, get your money's worth, is all I'm saying. Dun, 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 dun. That's a little bit of SpaceX. 
Space Paradox. What else is going on? Uh, solo diners are on the rise. More and more people are going out to dining experiences and dining alone, sitting by, that's dining solo. Sitting by yourself, having a meal. Apparently a lot of people are doing that these days, but I, I wouldn't know. I've never paid attention to see if, it, because you never know. What if somebody's just like, what if, who's doing these surveys? Like, because a lot of people do get up to go to the bathroom. A lot of people do come in. Like some people do sit at a restaurant and wait for others to join them. Now, of course, some people do go alone. And that's, was that, you know, I don't know how I feel about that in terms of solo. Uh, I do it. If it makes you happy, if it makes you, you know, solo dine, but then it, I don't know what that says in terms of are, are people not in, are people, is that because people are, not getting in relationships is that because people are lonelier is that because people, food is more expensive is it more be, is it because it's more expensive to eat out so you're like you know I, i'll take myself out is it is it that people are just not going out in general as much and people who do go out it's just like i don't know what the situation is but i i, I like it if you are going or maybe everything's like everything's fucking great and you're like you know what i'm a i'm a solo diner and i just treat myself and i'll treat others individually later Maybe that's maybe it's such a baller move. Maybe you're solo dining or making it seem as if you are solo dining, but in fact you brought guests who are further away at different tables and you're all solo dining. Well, because I get it, man. When you got when you want the whole table, you want when you want that elbow space all to yourself, I've come to think of it, it makes perfect sense. I believe all these solo diners are actually future diners. They realize you need a full table for elbow fucking just setting that elbow down right there on the table because it's nice to have control of the table because you know then if it's and you you don't need to worry about seating because every time you get to a new table and a new place you're like do you want to do you know you sometimes communicate it sometimes don't who sits where what about all oh, decisions the burden the the pressure do i pull a chair out do i do i pull it out for her do i pull it all the way back so she falls and queefs and we have a good laugh what if she hit, like, what if she's got a bad hip? What if she, so don't pull it out. Don't put it all over. But then you, not, you never know if she's got a good hip or a bad hip. Maybe she could afford to take a little fall in the beginning of the real estate. Just see her cat like reflexes. If she's got any, then you know she's a keeper. But if she falls and fucking, you know, can't get back up, you need a helper person to get in there. Because the waiter is robotic. You can't multitask for what, you know, it's, it's a trip. It's a trip. We're getting there little by little. It's, uh. Solo dining is also a, yeah, it's an experience. I'm for it. I have I solo dined. I, yeah, I think it's I'm not a big, you know, because you boys on the journey of you know going through the things, the steps in my own particular the way of the doing the you know, the work and the dreaming and the, all the you. So it's no time to get out there and sit at like a rat. Like, I'm not gonna go sit and like order myself a bottle of wine. Like, I'm not that's. I'm not gonna go sit at a fancy, like, you know, not, not, nothing cray cray, but like, I'm not gonna go sit at, that's not me personally. I'll get, I'll get food by myself because I'm mostly by myself. So I get, technically, I'm a solo dine. Wow, what a revelation that you, you boys are so, I just realized I'm a solo dine. So yeah, solo dine is pretty fucking cool. Come to think of it, you can do it every day. You can do it if you're by yourself and you're like, man, I'm just mm, in it to, you know, you can solo dine. It's pretty dope. Not gonna lie to you. It's, it's, really good and sure you can get more people to join you and at the end of the day aren't we all solo dining i mean i've never seen anybody like get food and then share it in terms of intensity by you know i've never seen like a sub being eaten by two individuals simultaneously from different ends them coming together just fucking taking it to the neck and deep throating a 12 in i've never seen so I've never seen a bowl of pasta. I'm really, there, yeah, sure, there have been cartoons and maybe some people have mimicked it, but you don't see that on a row. Like, people don't dine together. It is a solo experience. Aren't we all solo diners from the from the tit to the grave or from the from the teats to the to the to to whichever form you want to get, whether you want to get cremated or whether you wanna, you know, you know, be buried with uh with you know with open casket, nude, please, you know what I mean? Just for the final but uh, it's an experience. Solo dining is, uh, it's, it's, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, it's maybe not for you, but also try it. 
but also who knows what the reason is. At the end of the day, we need people to go out there and eat. And if you're doing, if you're eating, hey, you're gonna be okay. Nice. What else is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I believe China is becoming is the uh, pushing to become a good, uh, attempting to reach for a new position in global power positions in terms of stepping up its game in terms of wanting to step up and be maybe in a, a leadership position of providing global security. They've started this thing called the Global Security Initiative and their Chinese government, I believe, is training thousands of police officers, international police officers, to go out there and tra train other police officers internationally. So that's something that China's doing, which is, I read down, I'm just like, man, I, I don't know much about anything, but I try to keep up and like learn a little bit because I'm interested in things, just like you are. And I read that, okay, I'm like thinking, okay, police officers, all right, but then I read they're also maybe interested, sprinkling a little bit of communism in their training. And that's what I read. And I don't know much about anything, but I, I've heard, I've been, I've been known to, to, to hear things and also try to, but you hear communism, you're like, and all you see is red. All you see is red and like sh sharing and everybody's getting allegedly equal things, but apparently it's not equal things. It's apparently like, oh, it's just, Garmin control and thing, you hear commie and you're like training and you're like security and you're like global and you're like, oh man, where are we in all this? And yeah, it's a, it's a thing. So they're in there, they're trying to like, you know, come up with plans in terms of uh, inter inter introducing potentially new ways for countries that maybe potentially didn't get along together in terms of their govern governments before, like Saudi Arabia and to the Iran, coming and trying to like provide peace between them countries, the, coming and trying to propose peace ideas, peaceful ideas for the Ukraine war and stuff. And I'm like, where are we in all this? That's where are we in all this? So I just, I just thought we should, we should step in there and do all that and more of it. Cause it can only be one, you know, it's whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is like, we ought to get in there. Cause we're missing out on the monies and the business aspect of it all. Cause at the end of the day, man, if they are, oh, there's a, a lot of money to be made with the peace talks, I think. Because the alternative, of course, is like war and like, but instead of war, you could like do business and bring people together and shit. So I thought like, if anybody's going to be like globally governing and policing, we should be, it should be the US Canada, Team US Canada, let's go kick Canada America. America Canada, that's all I've always been saying, America Canada, I've always been saying this from the get go. But you know what I mean? So we should be getting in there and doing that. Because then if they're getting in like African countries and they're training African police officers or to who knows military people then you're gonna have african people who's maybe learning chinese maybe you'll have africans using chopsticks in a few generations maybe you'll have the, the african manufactured goods and products and that'll be that'll be just moving of the factories from one continent to another but the, but the, but the, but the worst thing is it's gonna be they're gonna be getting commied up man so if you want to if you want to reduce the commie to, to lower the commie Get in there and you, we do global security in initiatives of our own, which, which means what? Which means doing, doing whatever we can to fight chopsticks and communism, which is the opposite of that is like, get everybody a lot of money somehow. Make everybody rich and make everybody spend more. Make everybody consumers, but also like producers. But also, it's, it's tough, but also get in there. Because there's only one room for numero uno there's only room for it or we or we all get into i don't know i don't know it's just a lot of things that i read and that gets me excited but the, the the one beautiful thing is i guess you could see you you'd see that you know you'd have chinese africans uh chafricans or Af Af african chinese afrinese you can have afrinese people or chafricans that'll be something that might emerge out of this you know GSI thing. Again, I don't know anything about anything. It's just interesting to me as to where we're positioning ourselves in the global leadership position and all that shit. But what do I know about anything? It's just fun to think about these things. But instead of maybe, you know, we should do more business with more people. That's what I'm trying to say. I think. That really likes monies. You know, I've been thinking, ladies and gentlemen, that we should be 
using of course new and improved methods of sitting down because a lot of times people are like when you're sitting down your posture needs to be you need to work it on your you need to be relaxed but you don't need to like you don't need to be hunched over don't hunch over when you're sitting down don't slouch they'll say that you want to be comfortable some people are like get a medicine ball get a medicine ball and sit on it do a couple of abdominal workouts while you're sitting down get a get a seat that so you want a 90 degree angle so you're kind of forced to sit up straight or you're like no get a get a get a beanie chair so you can like really melt into it so that'll like, but then you're like so all these and i thought about like what is it get a get a get a lazy boy get a you know get a love seat to, to each their own but at the end of the day i thought about like what's the best seating position and i went out there and i did my research and i, I think we should just be using gyno chairs all across the field, all chairs should be replaced with gyno chairs. Have you seen gyno chairs? I've recently come across some gyno chairs of a porn search result that I did. It just came up and it was there and I, it was interesting. It was interesting. Didn't go out searching for it, but it did come up. Saw the whole position. And the chairs look comfortable. They all looked comfortable. Uh, they were enjoying themselves. I enjoyed myself. And I realized if I'm sitting down anywhere and i have options of why are we not first of all you're again going back to being able to like first of all stretch while you're sitting down you stretch your legs who doesn't want to stretch their legs while they're sitting down and you're laying back too and you're also like genital first which is again in terms of like talk about business rooms being a little bit more straightforward without anybody you know coming in and just be straight up just like genitals out doing business in a gyno chair or how about like, again, going out to those solo dining experiences. Forget those old school chairs. Bring the gyno chairs. Maybe these solo diners wouldn't be so solo dining if they had more, you know, just availability of what's in front of you right there. Bam. It's the thing that we should be using. I believe it's for, you know, car seats easily should be converted to gyno. Everybody in the car with the legs up. I'm... Just saying, let's use what's out there. We don't need to reinvent the wheel every time. It's just what's available. Bring it in there, incorporate it, improve it, send it to the SpaceX and the Polaris Dawn and the Let It Moonwalk. <sighs> Ladies and gents, boys and girls. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what else is going on? And then around the, I'll say this, uh, I was, I may or may not have been on a bridge. Uh, this story is, of course, it touches me like it touches you. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. It, it involves a bridge. It involves a human being. And it involves maybe myself, maybe a, a woman, and maybe uh, John Bon Jovi. Maybe, maybe all that. Or maybe none of it. Or maybe some of it. Who knows? But, but guess what? I was minding my own business on a bridge and I see a woman on a bridge and she's like, you know, kind of like she's over the, she's over the ledge. She wants to do the old, she wants to jump. And I think to myself, I better get in there and save this lady, not on my watch. I say that, but then simultaneously I see John Bon Jovi running to, to do the same thing. And I'm like, and I, and we get in, it's have we're having like you know it's like i i saw her first i'm gonna save this lady and john bon jovi he's like no you're not gonna say it's my woman to save it's my and i'm like what are you doing here john bon he's like i'm shooting a music video maybe and i'm like that's crazy that's really oh i am so beautiful and talented that's fantastic i want to save this lady and then john bon jovi got in my face and we scrapped for a second and then we tussled and then we split and then he got to the lady first i'm not gonna lie to you we didn't see any of the prior events that went down, but you did see or heard maybe John Bon Jovi may or may not have saved a woman that was about to jump off a bridge in Nashville, if I'm not mistaken. Did I, you know, uh, and I, I, you know, I'm fine with it. I said, you know what, John Bon Jovi, as great and talented and beautiful and influential and fantastic as you are, sir, I'm a fan of working with you. I'm going to go find another bridge. I'm going to go find another, there's going to be plenty of other people that are going to be on the bridges. They're going to be doing like attempting to take their lives or whatever. I mean, that, that, that's the thing too. That's the thing too. And I said to myself, you, you do it the traditional way. You do the old traditional, what works, you know, way. If, it doesn't, if it's not, if it's not broken, no fix it method is always good to it. But I'm going to, and I went out there. I found a few people. May, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. All right. And 
uh, I had to ask myself, should this situation happen uh, to, any, to any one of us? Uh, let us figure a better way to deal with the situation. Even a, even a better way than the way, to, sure, sure, sure. Of course, he saved a life, angel. God, talented, nice. But all that to say, there could always be improvements in how to deal with people on bridges. Uh, if you have a plan and that anywhere and you're in the GTA for the time being, and you want to do a whole bridge thing, uh, we could totally make a go, you know, we could definitely, that, that'll, you know, it, it'll, it'll be great for views. It'll, so don't be so selfish, first of all. I'll say this quickly, even in your last minute, you don't need to be fully selfish. You could take a moment. We could totally, you know, it'll get eyeballs. It'll be good. It'll be good. And, and we need to have a talk about this whole thing. Like maybe, you know, what happened to... Uh, maybe, they're, maybe, they're, uh, maybe they're like, I'm more comfortable on the other side of the guardrail. Maybe, maybe you're just getting in there. Maybe they're just like harsh and they're mellow because they like chilling on the other side of the guardrail. Maybe that's their thing. Maybe, you just, maybe they're being zen. And maybe you're getting... So I don't want to... First of all, I don't even want to misinterpret a situation and go there and just like throw off the whole vibe. How embarrassing would that be? So don't want to do that, but also like there's, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do it different. Maybe, maybe we'll, maybe I'll get in there and I'll get close to you and I'll be like, do you want a cigarette? And you're like, I don't want to, don't come any closer. I'm going to jump on like, I just want to talk. Really. I get it, man. I'm like, you know, I get it. Like, you want a cigarette? I'll say that. And as soon as I hand him the cigarette, boom, cuff him to myself. And I'm like, if you want to jump, you're going to be taking me down with you. And then by that time, the police officers and the 911s would have already arrived to the scene. They would have set up a nice little balloon sitch. Those little giant balloons that catch the jumpers. Then, And I'll be like, if you want to jump, we'll jump, man. And I'll be like, and he's like, no, I don't want to jump. And I'm like, well, let's, then let's get down. And then well, and we jump. And then we get down there and I'm like, and, and he's all like, or she, it doesn't matter really. And he's like, oh, I can't believe he, we did this. And I'll, I'll be like, oh, get this tank off, off our wrist. And then somebody will come and say, hey, and well, why, why did you do that? I'll be all like, you said, get him down. I got him down. And we can go into a diner and have a conversation about the way we roll around here. And maybe there'll be like a few of these situations that are happening but all i'm saying is different methods of more maybe somebody maybe that was their maybe that was their you know maybe they were you don't even know what they're jumping into maybe there was a whole oh, so maybe you ruined their video maybe they were shooting a video that they were jumping into a giant pool of chocolate pudding maybe you were maybe that was maybe they were dying and that was their dying wish so you could get in there and like ruin somebody's day if you don't know what you're doing and uh, maybe they just wanted somebody to be supportive. Maybe instead of trying it the traditional way of saying no, don't you? Maybe somebody needs to be like, yes, go for it. Do the jump, do the somersault, face first. And we'll see what the judges award this attempt. But uh, it is, you know, yeah. So all in all, it's, yeah. John Bon Jovi got to save this beautiful lady. And I may or may not have you know, maybe, maybe next time there'll be, and I'm out there looking at bridge all the time, just like, yo, if you need to, again, we could do this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Friday, of course. What else is going on in and around the world? I'll, uh, I'll say this, I believe, you know, there's uh, something to be said about uh, having you know, phones on us, these, you know, beautiful devices that we all use to talk to our loved ones, friends, family members, get in touch with the world, connect, look things up, look, look things down, take pictures, take videos. And again, be in touch with as many people as possible. It's, it's never been done like this before. And I believe recently there was, but sometimes you're like, man, maybe maybe there's a space, and everybody had to, to varying degrees for every individual, of course, depending on how you want to, you know, how you do your life, essentially, is how much you want to, whatever is. 
being shared by anybody. It's completely up to you, but sometimes everybody's got their thing. Everybody's got their, you know, there's the private things that happen for you and whatever. And there's the things that you decide to share and, or sometimes things that you don't want to share, accidentally get shared. And that's one of the things that does happen these days. And I believe recently, just maybe a few, I'm not even sure when it happened, to be honest, maybe just within a few hours ago, like yesterday, maybe the day before, a beautiful man, a beautiful woman were having a private moment. You may, may or may not know this beautiful man or woman. Well, I, I'm not quite sure of the woman, but I, Shannon Sharp, Unk Sharp, Shannon Sharp got, he was doing the dirty dirt with his lady and there was apparently a, you know, audio recording it went live on instagram apparently that's the then then you hear it i read that i read headlines for a second and came across the old rare and i'm like oh man i wonder if it's a video and i thought i want to look well let's have a look if it's up there you know what I mean? i'm not looking but i'm looking because it's up there this is interesting because we're all you know these human things that are interesting you hear stuff and you're like oh man sex day love the girl maybe who knows and i got intrigued so i clicked the like but it wasn't it wasn't video i'm a fan i'm a fan i'll say this of the tape of the of the of, of the man of course the other the, the beautiful people he hosts on his shows I'm a fan but I'll say this, it's, uh, it is a little bit, you know, it's one of those that could happen to anybody, I think. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. And my, yes, of course it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. You could be, you know, uh, doing the dirty dirt, doing the, you know, getting some uh, bone right there, getting in the cooch, getting in the pocket. You could be doing it all. You could be, you know, you could be doing the 69, you could be doing the 72, you could be doing the uh, 31, if you know what I mean. The old 31. You could be, you know, you could be having fun, but you could accidentally, you could definitely do it on purpose. You could definitely go like, you go and people do, but people make, that's the whole industry. People do it on purpose and they've, that, and that's beautiful too, because we get to enjoy it. People enjoy watching those videos, those productions. But sometimes things get leaked on accident and I, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure if it's, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't think too much of it. It's not, it's, you know, is it, does it, you know, would you like to keep that stuff private? Most people would probably say, yes, I'd like to keep that stuff private for myself and my person or persons that I'm involved with at the time. But uh, I, I, hearing it, she, you know, they're having fun. She was having fun, which again, if everybody's having fun, let's go celebrate. That's beautiful. Uh, I am, I'll say this, I'm kind of like retrospectively, again, everything, you know, retrospective is 2020. It's, I'll, it's, I'm, I'm kind of glad that it was just audio, to be honest with you. I, cause, oh, cause, you know what I'm talking about? I, he's got, you know, and by the, hearing audio only, I could tell, I could tell. You hear some things or you just like audio only, I could tell. His piece is one of them pieces that like lifts, that benches as much as like the average guy benches. You've seen how this guy's built. Adonis of a man. You've seen it's just muscle upon muscle. I'm kind of glad that we did because that's just putting that, that's the type of thing that becomes like, you know, and everybody's like, I, and it's, it's hard to, so I'm happy for you, of course. Happy for the parties involved. But it's just one of those, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that it was just audio because it's one of those, I don't need that in my day right now. I don't need that in my day because like that's the type of that's the type of cock that's just like you know it's its own little it's its own you know mini person you could you could tell it's its own like it's it's you know it's making phone calls it's making deals it's working out on its own time it's got its own muscle it's a whole huge it's you could tell you could tell by the by the audio only so I'm glad that we didn't get to you know unless I got the wrong link maybe there was visual but again i'm not even gonna go seek it out i heard it it was nice the, the visuals it's already up there happy for again the woman beautiful lady sounds like it having fun unk having fun who couldn't be more happy for their unk having fun if, if my unk got accidentally caught doing the dirty dirt i'd be i'd be happy for them i'd be happy for them i'd be like maybe i don't want to see you for a little while 
but I get it because it's just, I don't want to, you know, not to, you know, give it a few months, then I'd be able to maybe make eye contact with you because I don't want to, you know what I mean? Could happen to the best of us. Worst thing could have happened, you know, don't be embarrassed. I'll say this, if it happens to anybody, don't be embarrassed. Of course, it is a little bit, but far worse things could happen. You know how embarrassing it'd be if you got caught in the middle of doing a live IG while you're like, if you, oh man, if you're like out there, you're doing, you know, who knows? If you're like doing murder, how embarrassing would that be? God, oh man, you know, people would be like, coming out and say, oh, okay, what are you, what are you doing? And you gotta give a whole speech out there, like, oh, this is so embarrassing, just in the middle of the murder. And cause that could be, that could be way worse, way, way worse, which is, wor which is worse. Doing the one natural thing that all of us do, one of the many natural things that all of us do, or doing that one thing that's like, oh, that's, it. Well, that's way more embarrassing. This is just everyday stuff. This is, this is really, happening and then you know so it, it could don't be you know what else could have happened that would have been way more embarrassing um again this is one this one's a natural one and this one of course all of us come from but accidentally not if you don't want to you err giving birth to somebody that's you know that's embarrassing that'll that will again if you're like a relative or like an acquaintance or somebody that i know i wouldn't want to see your friends that's a year minimum i don't want to see your face that's a year two year minimum i don't want to see your face and let's let's you know let's let time they say time heals all wounds or it's, you know at least makes you you know we can we can let a year or two and then maybe we can make eye contact uh what taking the shit will be way more embarrassing than doing the sex doing the sex and because yeah I, i'd much rather if i'm gonna accidentally ever go live on anything accident i'd much rather be getting caught doing the sex than taking a shit i do that's one that is one vulnerable compromising position i don't think any human like again but there's like you know you might be there might be specific moments not to you know to shame anyone's game whatever you're into you're into doing whatever video whatever, whatever you know what i'm talking about i'm not here to talk about it. i'm saying i'm just saying generally speaking that's like you know that's you don't want to i don't want to I'd rather have if it were to happen because that's way more embarrassing so I'm or what else if you are what if, what if you're just like what if you're just like baking you know what I mean and you accidentally go live and the cake you're baking doesn't come out too well how fucking embarrassing you know what I mean or if you're like you know making a little arts and crafts project for yourself and you end up using way too much glitter. How embarrassing would that be? So it's just like it could play out any day, any way, anywhere, to anyone. I'm, yes, uh, again, happy that it was just audio and happy for all the parties involved. And yeah, shit happens. That's, that's what I'll say about that. But that's neither here or there. But I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, it's important for all of us to focus on many things and whatever you're into, I hope you're focusing it on it and working on it and doing your thing. For example, it could just be like, it could be like, you know, focusing on quantum queefing, measuring the speed and velocity that queef travels. And that one, ladies and gentlemen, if we could just come together and answer the basic question that is quantum queefing, I think we will solve it all and bring humanity together one step at a time. I'll be back here again next week. In the meantime, have a little bit of fun out there. Peace out.